Hello, uh, as you can see by the title, my name is Jonas Lord. I'm a managing editor at the LHS Budget, and I went shopping at the Love Garden for uh, $1 CDs. Uh, that's me right there, you know, just uh, walking over to the $1 CD bin. And uh, I'm going to review some of my favorite finds today, you know. And uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a little fun, a little goofy. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, what I what I really wanted it to be would be like a would be you know just something really erotic you know I want like the I, I wanted the, the loud like pounding oh yes and oh babies and other noises I knew deep down that it was like a new age thing because like there was like this weird symbol on the front I don't know what it means I'm not an expert in that stuff I assume it means that whoever identifies with the symbol has hot sex and has a lot of it, but I don't, I don't know. And uh, then there was like a description on the back with a bunch of uh, new agey sounding producers. It was just all, all the sex noises were like quiet and subdued. They were like, oh yeah. And they were like, oh baby. It was well produced, I'll give them that. I don't quite know who made it. My guess is that it was just something that a label pumped out in order to take advantage of that growing market. But honestly, didn't really vibe with me. Just a bunch of lame instrumentals. Uh, so I'm gonna give it like a five out of ten. Kind of mid. Next album is uh, Blues Cats for Kids, which, as it turns out, I read the liner notes, and uh, it's not a kids album. It's an album for the kids. It's a charity slash live slash compilation record. Um, not anything to write home with that, about, like, experimentation-wise. A lot of the songs follow the same formula, but it does surprise you in some places. There's, like, a funk song, and then there's, like, more jam band stuff. Arguably, the height of the album is this song called Bouncing Myrtle, which doesn't sound like the height of an album, but it is. It's pretty good, actually. There's, like, this guy, guitarist, and he's going, like, and then he's going, like, I don't know, I'm having a part more time a hard time replicating it, but I still kind of remember that track, so that's a standout to me. And also, all the songs were original too, which was interesting. To me at least. I thought there would be more standards and blue standards and stuff, but I don't think I know a lot about the genre. But it was cool that there was original songs. I mean, honestly, the whole thing did feel kind of boomer though. It's not a negative thing, it's just a vibe. Kind of reminded me of like a jam cover band with a bunch of like uh, old people at the helm. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10, you know? Honestly, like, good job guys, you know? We move on to our last album. Instead of multiple boomers, there's like one boomer uh, at the helm with a sweaty headband. Whole album was really confusing. Um, there were a lot of musical ideas, more so than Blues Cats for Kids, but they weren't implemented as well. Um, a lot of the songs had really clash, it had like clashing melodies. It was not good sounding. Um, I'll, I'll probably, uh, in order to give you an accurate interpretation of what I heard, I'm probably gonna add some, you know, some sound effects some goofy ones, but it's so weird too because there's like some decent musical ideas on there, but then there's just like, there's on one track, I can't remember what track it was, but there was just sex noises for some reason, which was really weird. Um, oh God, um, honestly, thinking about the whole thing is giving me a massive headache. Although I do appreciate the attempts that have been made to make a jazz fusion album, because I know that usually requires a lot of musicality, that particular genre, but it doesn't work. I'm sorry, it just doesn't. I guess I'm gonna give it like a six out of 10 for weirdness, but eh, I don't know if I'm gonna listen to it again. I feel like that was like a one-time thing. Okay, so, uh... Those were the albums, and this is kind of like an outro, I guess. I don't know. I guess just to do a quick recap, Erotic Moods was 5 out of 10. Um, 
Blues Cats for Kids was 7 out of 10. And uh, Ocean Wide thing was a solid 6 out of 10. So uh, that was my professional opinion, I guess. Yeah, so that's that. I'm probably going to head out now. Bye.